Hello friends. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the Online Conductor app in online mode to record your performance for a virtual choir. So let's get to it. I have my phone here connected to the computer. It's, it's the same on, on your screen as it is mine. And the first step, of course, is to make sure that you've got the Online Conductor app installed. It's available for public release on the App Store or the Play Store. The next step, step two, is to open the app. We need to open it because it runs a configuration and that means it just it just sorts its life out and knows what to do and that sort of thing. So once we've opened it and we see this page, we can go to our emails or wherever we have the link saved. I will send you the link and click that link. The video will then download. Now please beware that because it's a big video, it might take a while to download. So feel free to put your phone down somewhere, go and make a cup of tea while it downloads. That's absolutely fine. So it's downloading. Right, we're ready to go. So um, I'm going to press start. I need to turn the phone around. Now, please connect headphones. This is important because if you don't connect headphones, then we're going to hear the backing as well and we're not going to hear you. So uh, just any headphones will do. I, I, I do recommend if you use, if you're a singer, that you use uh, a microphone with the headset built in, so like a hands-free set. Just be careful though, that when you are singing and using a hands-free mic, that if you sing a loud or high note, that you just gently tip it away. Just like you would do in a performance if you were singing with a microphone in your hand. You know, you'll, you'll see all the time on live videos that singers take the mic away as they sing loud notes and then bring it back for the quiet notes. This is so that we can get really good audio. If you're worried about that, then just use normal headphones without a microphone and the phone's normal microphone when you film a normal video will be fine. They're great these days, really are great, but if you want to just do a little bit extra to make the, the final product a little bit better, try it. So, let's press next. So, I'm going to close my webcam off from the computer now and just use the phone because it gets confusing seeing too many me's. So, uh, so here it goes. Make sure that your face is well lit and you can be seen clearly. So I think I can be seen clearly. There's a few things in the way though, so I'm just going to move the camera around here. Good, okay, right. So let's try this. I'm going to press start recording. There's a little countdown and you can see here, there's a preview window. So you can just make sure that nothing's... Hello, get ready to clap on four. One, two, three. There we go. Here we go. Right, here we go. A little bit out of time then. With a ping, with a ping, with a ping pong ball, with a ping, with a ping, with a ping pong ball, with a ping, with a ping, with a ping pong ball, with a ping, with a ping pong ball, with a ping, with a ping, with a ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong ball, with a ping, with a ping, with a ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong ball, with a ping, with a ping, with a ping pong ball, with a ping, with a ping, with a ping pong ball, with a ping, with a ping, with a ping pong ball, with a ping, with a ping pong ball. There we go and the video will stop itself. You don't need to press cancel. Cancel is for emergencies only. The video will stop recording at the end of the original conductor video. And that is so that you don't see people at the end of the video rushing towards the stop button. Now, at this stage, we can have a look to see if we want to send the video in. So I'm just gonna press the home button and I'm gonna to go to photos, recent, and you'll see there's a new video. So I'm going to press that. There we go. I think that was a little bit out of time then. So we can have a listen now and see if we made any. And this is it. We sing. This is like Inception, isn't it? With a ping, with a ping, with a ping pong ball, with a ping, with a ping, with a ping pong ball, with a ping, with a ping, with a ping pong ball, with a ping, with a ping pong ball. Ping, with a ping, with a ping pong ball, with a ping, with a ping pong ball. There we go. 
and the video will stop itself. You don't need So there we go. So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go back to the app. So you can either just press home or you can do, you know, you can switch between windows as you normally would do. Um, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to press upload. So that video is going to upload. Now, the upload is traditionally a, a longer process than downloading. So again, this might be one that you might want to start making dinner with because these videos are big. They're between 300 and 500 megabytes. And that's big. If you think the original floppy disk held 4.4 megabytes, I think, these video files are huge. Can you imagine carrying around, so what, like 100 floppy disks? That's how much memory they take. But it's because they're full of good quality. I mean, my iPhone camera takes in 4K on the selfie camera, which is pretty good, isn't it? So that's why it's a big file, and that's why it takes a long time to upload over the internet. So I'm going to fast forward now. Right, great. Your video is uploaded. Press OK to send to your conductor. Now this should already be filled in with the right email. So when I set the videos up, you shouldn't have to worry about where it's sent to. And all you really need to do, you might want to write some notes in there, but just make sure that link is the same so this link is is what we want to keep is this one here and you'll see that and just press send it and then that's us done everything is hunky dory so there we go thank you very much enjoy